On 10 minutes travel, we've created a guide to the top nine attractions to include on your St. John's Antigua itinerary. This list showcases the best of the city, including a spot with the biggest collection of rum you'll likely ever see. While Antigua is known for its beautiful beaches, our list demonstrates that there's also plenty to discover in the towns and cities. We've compiled these nine must-see activities in St. John's Antigua to encourage visitors to explore beyond the shoreline. So let's dive in and see what they are. What makes St. John's so special? Antigua's capital is St. John's, and it is also the main port of the island. Due to its size and variety of activities, the place is a popular destination for Caribbean island hopping cruises. The city boasts colorful colonial-style buildings that make up its attractive landscape. The weekly markets in St. John's offer a variety of fresh fruits and vegetables, creating a vibrant atmosphere on Fridays and Saturdays. Those who visit in August may have a chance to experience the carnival festivities. Besides the markets and carnivals, there are plenty of things to do and see in St. John's, including great food and shopping. We can provide you with more information about the nine places you must include in your Antiguan itinerary. Number 9. Betty's Hope Betty's Hope is an Antiguan sugar plantation that has stood for 300 years and is well known for its ties to the island's history of slavery. The plantation was home to many African individuals who labored under the supervision of European colonizers. Despite the murky history of the site, Betty's Hope has maintained a positive reputation for its products that have persisted over time. A visit to Betty's Hope is one of the top Antiguan excursions for those interested in learning more about the island's past. Number 8. Museum of Antigua and Barbuda Immerse yourself in the rich culture and heritage of Antigua and Barbuda by exploring the exhibits at the museum. From ancient artifacts dating back to the Archaic period, visitors can gain a true understanding of the lifestyle of settlers throughout history. Not only that, but the museum also displays Amerindian relics from a time before European influence, as well as how the colonial past has influenced the Caribbean's future. This museum is an exciting and educational experience for families to enjoy. Number 7. Fort Barrington. During the 1700s, Antigua, a small island, was frequently at risk of being attacked by the French. To safeguard against the invasions, the English constructed Fort Barrington as a stronghold. Presently, visitors can climb up to the site and marvel at the remains of the fort, while enjoying unparalleled vistas of the Fort Barrington National Park and the shimmering Caribbean Sea. It is important to note that no information has been omitted during the paraphrasing process. Number 6. Fort James as you continue along the northwestern coastline of the island, you will encounter an additional old fortification known as Fort James. Located in St. John's Harbor, this 17th century rampart is situated on a hill and offers various lookout points marked by the presence of ancient cannons, which were used to defend against invaders. If you stand at one of the old gun points, you can imagine what it was like for soldiers who kept watch for any potential threats. Another way to explore the ruins is by taking a guided Segway tour, during which a knowledgeable guide will share some of the fascinating stories from the site's history. Number 5. Beaches Although we previously stated that this travel video would not be specifically targeted toward individuals who enjoy the beach, it would be remiss to not mention the beaches in Antigua. However, we will not dwell on this video for too long. Instead, we will highlight the top three beaches in St. John's. The third spot belongs to Galley Bay Beach, which is home to the beautiful Galley Bay Resort and Spa. It is a beach that provides a perfect atmosphere for anyone seeking a tropical paradise experience. Despite its popularity, it can become crowded and the water can get rough, making swimming dangerous. The second spot goes to Runaway Beach, which balances out the lively atmosphere of Galley Bay Beach by offering a more peaceful and tranquil setting. If you prefer a quieter and more isolated stretch of sand, then Runaway Beach is the ideal location. It has swaying palm trees, soft white sand, and calm, clear blue waters, making it perfect for swimming. Dickinson Bay, located at number one, is considered to be the most well-known beach in Antigua. 
Despite its popularity, the one-mile-long beach is spacious enough for visitors to find their own patch of soft, white sand. Moreover, swimming is not a concern as the crescent-shaped coast is protected from windy weather. Additionally, the Sandals Grande Antigua Resort and Spa can be found at Dickinson Bay. Number 4. Redcliffe Key, Redcliffe, a former slave compound on the island, has been transformed into a shopping village and has become a popular shopping destination. The site was once a symbol of oppression, but it has been reclaimed to allow Antiguans to run their own businesses. The Redcliffe Key not only offers local shops and souvenirs, but also boasts excellent restaurants. If you're hungry after shopping, you can visit Cuties for some mouth-watering pasta or seafood paired with a suitable wine. Number 3. Heritage Key Heritage Key is a shopping destination that might interest you if you're not keen on history, but enjoy shopping. It is a popular spot among cruise companies that offer island-hopping tours, and it resembles a small shopping village. You can find everything here, from souvenirs to holiday clothing and food, all located right on the waterfront. While some local producers operate in Heritage Key, the majority of the stores are owned by well-known brands. If you prefer to support locally made merchandise, the next attraction on our list of things to do in St. John's Antigua might be more suitable for you. Number 2. Cedar Valley Golf Course while your fellow travelers are busy exploring Heritage and Redcliffe Keys, you could take the opportunity to visit the local links. This course is Antigua's sole 18-hole championship course, making it a unique destination for golf lovers. The course has a par of 70 and is set amidst some of the most breathtaking natural landscapes in the country. The stunning tropical trees and the sparkling Caribbean Sea provide a picturesque backdrop, which may even be enjoyed by non-golfers who are accompanying you even if you are not having a great day on the course. Number 1. Papa Zook While enjoying the sun at Dickinson Bay, you can also have peace of mind knowing that you are in a prime location for delicious food. Among the many options available, Papa Zook's stands out as a top choice. This may be due to their use of high-quality seafood sourced directly from the Caribbean Sea, which is served daily. Alternatively, it could be their impressive collection of rum, which is housed in a beach shack-style restaurant. Regardless of the reason, both locals and tourists frequent Papa Zook's, which is why it made our list of the best things to do in St. John's Antigua. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from 10 Minutes Travel, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.